Hello guys, my name is Shamajit Lahiri aka Popeye and today we are going to talk about how different outfits in dance helps you understand and feel the music better and helps you give better throwdowns. Your outfit becomes a part of your personality eventually. It's a part of your dance. Because a lot of dancers don't know about it but then yeah, this is a very essential thing, you know. Uh, it doesn't really mean that you have to wear expensive outfits always an outfit doesn't really need to be expensive for you to look attractive it just needs to be appropriate according to your dance first i'm going to talk about animation popping so animation popping involves a lot of small detailed movements muscle controlled movements which are often ignored by your viewers if you're wearing a very loose outfit performers usually wear a uh, very tight clothing where each and every stop, each and every muscle controlled uh, movements are easily noticed by the viewers. Uh, they wear a lot of uh, tight clothing like tight trousers, tight t-shirts, etc. Second, electric boogaloo. In electric boogaloo style, there's a lot of dynamic movement like huge leg rolls and dynamic floor work and everything. So dancers usually wear a very loose outfit like loose t-shirts, loose cargos, jeans or trousers. Uh, back in the day, electric boogaloo used to perform with loose suit, coat, blazers. So third, I'm gonna talk about tutting. In tutting, there's a lot of hand movements, arm movements. So back in the day, dancers used to wear white gloves so that the attention of the audience is exactly where the tata wants it to be. So nowadays, empty pop in his throwdowns uses uh, white gloves or different types of gloves. Also, a lot of tutters use that, and uh, you know it helps the audience fixate the attention on what the dancer is exactly trying to portray. Also, if you are an animator, popper, animator plus electric boogaloo artist, you can have a mix of outfits like medium tight outfits. It doesn't have to be really tight or really loose so that your dynamic feeling is also there, your animation feeling, robot feeling is also there. So you can do a mix and match if your styles are mixed. So yeah, that's it for now. Comment below if you like my video and see you next time. Bye bye.